Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reacting to what goes into feeding an NFL team and if you've seen any of the videos I've done on the NFL guys, they are massive, they are absolutely huge so I'm quite curious to know what the heck these guys eat, like they're whole cows on on plates or what, they are big guys. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and yeah, let's get into it. It's very different cooking for professional athletes than a normal person. These guys are very hungry. We go through a crazy amount of food. Oh, it looks good though. My name is Connor McGuire. I'm the executive chef for the Washington Redskins. I feed the players and the staff at their practice facility in Ashburn, Virginia. When they first built this kitchen, they wanted to make sure that it was state of the art. We have top of the line ovens, a wok station, a pasta extruder where we That's make our mental. own pasta. We have a brick oven that gets up to about 700 degrees. It can cook a pizza in about two minutes. We have a walk-in cooler where we can store proteins and vegetables and produce to make sure that we have enough food in here to feed these guys. We want to cook with a high-end mindset, but cooked food that was very familiar to players. Every day we do multiple proteins, high quality starches and vegetables. We give them pasta, a stir fry, very low calorie pizza. We have salad bar where they can get fresh cut vegetables that we prepare every day. They're getting a quality meal that's also helping them perform on the field. I'll tell you what, it looks amazing, but they deserve it though. Like I said in the other, in the other video, these guys put their life Body, mind, soul, everything on the line for the sport. You could at least give them a good uh, good old scoff every day. So yeah, that food looks good. The kitchen looks amazing as well, to be fair. Hey, it's Cole McCoy checking in from Redskins Park. Down here at Redskins Cafeteria. Here, look, we got Mahi Mahi with a little greens, a little sweet potato. It doesn't get better than that. Getting hungry now. Nutrition is really key throughout camp, just keeping guys fueled and keeping them going throughout the day. This time of year, off-season program, we're trying to change body composition, we're trying to improve strength, increase power, improve conditioning. It's a two-hour, really tough, hot practice that we go through, and then you're right in the recovery mode. And these guys go through an extreme amount of food. We go through anywhere from 75 portions to 100 in one lunch period. This morning we got in 45 pounds of Chilean sea bass. Yesterday we got in about 120 pounds of salmon. Every day it'll be about 40 pounds of chicken breast, 45 pastas, 30 stir fries, eight to 12 thin crust pizzas, countless vegetables. I thought I'd see more beef on there to be honest. I love a bit of beef, me. So, you know, we're bringing in 25 pounds of carrots twice a week. So it's definitely a large amount that we do every single day. Personally, I don't like to drop anyone on a team below 3,000 calories when they're in a big training phase of the year. So we have guys that are up over 5,000 calories a day. Take like a Ryan Kerrigan, for example. Ryan's roughly 260 pounds. He's a very big, strong, muscular He's guy. Huge. It's gonna cost his body at least 5,000 calories a day just to maintain that. So this time of year in an eight week period, we'll go through about 100 50, 200 cases of protein shakes. Some guys multiple shakes a day, an incredible amount. We have a lot of other products, bars, electrolyte drinks, and there's a big responsibility for the player when they go downstairs, not to just grab whatever they see out, but to know what to grab and how much to grab. And that's uh, really where the art comes in with nutrition. What are we eating? We eating healthy today? Oh yeah, always eating healthy, man. Always Gotta healthy? Sure, you know, run by everybody out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Speed kills. Chef Connor has an extensive knowledge of food and how to prepare food. He's really like the magician behind all of this. So I talk with Connor about what's best for our players from a performance aspect, and then he puts it all into action. Ordering all the food that we need, deciding how we're gonna plate food, deciding the menus for the week. Some guys need high carbs, some guys need low carbs, some guys need higher protein than others, some guys need higher, healthier fats. So when they go down there, Connor knows exactly what to put on their plate. Hey, this guy needs an extra serving of protein. Team. This guy needs an extra serving of carbs. That's really the art of it. Every single thing that we do here is geared. 
It's a bit of a night. Like, must be so difficult. There's so many different players. Like, this guy's a fair play to him. Imagine having to figure out that. I've got two kids and just trying to figure out what to cook every day is a freaking nightmare. Me and the missus are always arguing. Like, what are we going to eat today? Who knows? Towards making them better. I couldn't imagine doing player. it for that many men. We've got our own smoothie bar over here. What are we making, Jay Reed? Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks disgusting. I mean, come on. All that, all that fish and fresh food over there. You can come over and make a nasty protein shake. What you got? What all you got in there? Blueberries, a little bit of, a little bit of greens right here. A little bit of greens. Almond milk, protein. Are you lactose intolerant? Yeah, can't do peanut butter either. Yeah, right. I just it sounds disgusting. But hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> All right. As a chef, I want to keep doing new things. I want to keep providing different items for them to keep them interested. One of the things that I love about this job is I get to introduce new foods to people almost weekly. And you can't mess up, Mike, because if they don't like it, they're going to whip you. This is our Mediterranean style bowl. It has sauteed vegetables, carrots, peppers, cucumber and tomato salad, sauteed chicken, roasted red pepper hummus, and rice with tzatziki. A lot of times when you think of healthy food, it's very bland, dry piece of chicken and steamed broccoli and like a baked potato. So we wanted to make sure that the food was good. Here is our grilled pork tenderloin dish. It has quinoa good. and broccolini. And the sauce is a roasted shallot reduction. Now, the players have their certain favorite items, like our beef bolognese. At the beginning, a lot of rookies tend to go towards that. And through that, you can get them to open up, and maybe they eventually end up trying a piece of fish. This is our salmon dish. It that is looks seared good. I love, salmon. I love fish. I'm surprised there's not more steaks there. I love a bit of steak. I love chicken as well, but we eat so much chicken. A bit of steak every now and then, or a bit of beef. Quinoa with mixed vegetables, roasted broccolini, and the sauce is a chipotle cilantro vinaigrette. I'm actually when I introduce a new dish, I'm at first so they may be skittish about it and go, what is this? And I go, no, no, just try it. And I kind of explain or walk them through it. And then they eat it and they're like, oh, this was amazing. I never had this before. Here we have a cilantro soubise. It is a onion pureed sauce with roasted chicken, carrots, tomatoes, a little bacon, peas, and corn. Especially when guys come from other teams, I always make sure I go, how's the food over there? How's the food, you know, with that organization? And they go, it's nothing compared to here. We got all kinds of options nice, over here. Mate. Yeah, we have been nice to the person who looks after your food, dude. Nothing around here. Is this better than Stanford? Of course. Of course it's better yeah. than Stanford. Chicken and a salad. Is that a typical old lineman meal right there? I don't see any, I don't see any pizza on there. What about you? Oh, another old lineman eating a salad. Can you believe that? And we got a full pizza bar with our best pizza in Loudoun County in this building. I mean, look look at this crowd we got back here cooking lunch for us every day. They've been here since three in the morning, working hard. They're the best. Hey, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Redskins Cafeteria, good day. Our chefs are great and uh, I'm full. That was pretty interesting. I was expecting them to have a lot more pro, like big meals, but it looks good. It looks good. It looks delicious. Some of it. That green one didn't look too cool. It looks a bit like Shrek's uh, bodily fluids. But yeah, whatever floats your boat, like he says. Uh, if yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.